Hey guys, Richard from Welsh Tech. Right, I saw another post up on Facebook on one of the PC Master Race forums and I thought, right, I'm going to do a video about this. I'm sick and tired of seeing this bloody picture up on Facebook as well as Reddit. This is what happens when the, in the AMD stock cooler or your AIO pulls your CPU out of the socket continue to watch i'm going to show you step by step what to do and how to remove it properly hopefully this will sort that out this is richard from welshy tech continue to watch so this is a video i'm doing right now as you saw in the intro you know what this is about now the problem with the stock cooler is because it uses these retention screws it's so tight on the actual bracket on the back of the motherboard now when you undo this and um, all that it's going to be really 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 strong towards it the pressure on it when you screw these down is immense it's more pressure than a, like a basic the basic AMD mounting with the clips on each side. It's going to have a lot more pressure. Now, what a lot of people keep complaining about on Facebook as well as Reddit is when they undo this, they pull the CPU out and it goes, huh? why is my CPU, why is it on there? No, it's like literally glued. Well, now this is for those people. Okay. Now, Listen to me, okay? Because I'm sick and tired of seeing this bloody post go up on Facebook groups all the time. And there's about 150 comments saying the exact same thing. What do you do? Well, the first thing you do is you run a benchmark on the CPU. I, I recommend either Cinebench where you can run it for a loop for a few minutes just to get the paste to heat up. Right? So I will demonstrate. Now, we go sure, we go there, we go back up, we go to Cinebench R23. It depends, these are all free benchmarks you can you can download online. Right? No, it did right, okay? Right. So this is Cinebench. Cinebench R23. Now, as you can see, what you do is by your luck, see, you can th test throttle in, or you go to that, go to preferences, and it's got by here custom minimum test duration. Don't know if I, I no, I can't, unfortunately, I can't zoom in. But what you do is set it for, say, 90, no, say, one, there we go, one minute 30, okay, right? Go to that, so click multi-core. Right. Remember, do not do single core because it will not heat up every part of the dies. Remember, with AMD, there's chiplets underneath the IHS, which is the metal shieldless on top of it, which dissipates the heat from the actual die and it transfers from there to the IHS, then transfers it then to the cooler which you're using. So, what you do is you want to run this for at least a minute or two just to get the thermal paste to start loosening up. Because if it's on, say it's just your first boot, first thing in the morning, especially in the UK, right now we're doing, we've got maybe minus one early in the morning. So, that thermal paste is literally going to go rock hard like glue. And it won't. As soon as you undo it and you pull, it will not come loose. It'll just pull the CPU straight out of the socket. Which I hope AMD in the future will update their retention bracket for the CPU. Because Intel's been doing this that amazing retention um, bracket for it with the lever, blah, blah, blah. And it goes boom. Done. No problems with it pulling out. But, as we know, AMD can't do everything perfect. Now, what CPU have I got? Funny you should ask. I've got an AMD R5, uh, Ryzen 5 3600. 
and there we go right so that just run that for one minute and 30 seconds so basically two runs right so my temperatures right now are 37 degrees but while running it starts right here we go here we go 50 51 52 52 that's actually kind of my fault because i've actually under undervolted my cpu because it's running a little bit hot 75 degrees on um a 280 rad aio about 75 degrees during a play a uh, game session so i had to adjust my voltage and I also have to adjust my clock. So instead of it running at 4.2 at 1.35 volts, I've got it down to 4 gigahertz on all six cores and 12 threads. And the voltage is 1.18 volts. And idle, it runs at about 31 to 35 degrees. But under load, right by here, 54 degrees. Now, obviously, my rad hasn't had time to actually heat soak yet, but it's a general foot. Now, I'm going to leave this go. Then, I'm going to switch and show you how it actually works. So, continue to watch Richard from Welsh Tech. Goodbye. Right, so this is me showing you now that I've just done a benchmark. I'm going to unscrew it, like that, both sides, I'm going to unscrew it, like this, right, that's one undone, there's the other, obviously this is going to be different for the stock one, because the stock one has four individual screws, that you actually has a spring on it for the retention, now, this is just going to come like that. That's it. Remember that. All right, go like that. Loosen that a tiny bit more. One, two. Three. There we go. Three. And done. So, as you can see, done. Remember, you have to twist it. So, if you don't twist it, it will pop out of the CPU, out of the socket. Ooh, I've got to reapply my thermal paste. Not very good coverage, as you can see. Ooh. Looks like Richard didn't put enough on. Oh, well. Well, this is Richard from Welsh Tech. I hope this clarifies that you do not do it the way you normally do. Remember, you've got to run a benchmark to do it. Then you twist. Then you pull up. So, this is Richard from Welsh Tech. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.